um, while they were still doing it, uh, Taylor Swift came out and endorsed Kamala Harris. Oh, well, of course. The Republicans are freaking out. They're already certain that she's been bought and paid for by the Democratic Party because clearly that's what they're putting all their time, men- energy, and money into is buying Taylor Swift. Well, and you got to remember, it was a few weeks ago, Donald Trump thanked Taylor Swift for her endorsement because he got some fake AI image of her endorsing Trump. <laughs> so he thought she endorsed him and he thanked her for it. And then she had to correct that, that no, I didn't endorse you. So she did her whole deal. And I just want to watch some of the freak out from the right wing. So here's Megan Kelly. We'll start with and then we'll jump to Fox. But here's Megan Kelly on, on her show, The Megan Kelly Show. I think it's a... Uh, Original title was Justifying Low Ratings with Megan Kelly. <laughs> because I guess she decided, oh, this will be fun to crap on him when he's down, when she perceives him as down. Um, Taylor Swift just endorsed Kamala Harris. <laughs> Taylor Swift, yeah, she posts a picture of herself with her cat. <laughs> Uh-huh. Would you look at this? <laughs> you can, you can. Furthermore, I want to add to this. She signed it, Taylor Swift, childless cat lady, to dig it Vance about his thing. Oh. <laughs> of course. Really? I'm like, you can kiss your sails to the Republican audience. Goodbye, Taylor. Hope you enjoyed them while you had them. <laughs> can I tell I you wanna, so- I want to get to that real quick. So, Taylor Swift back in, what was it, 2018 or whatnot, did a released a video thing where she was arguing with her parents and her agent about she wanted to go against Martha Marsha Blackburn in Tennessee because uh, Marsha Blackburn was against uh, women's rights for abortion and things like that and so Taylor Swift wanted to publicly go out against her and they all yelled at her and said no don't you're gonna lose most of your audience and she said well I'm doing it anyway and she did it and she didn't lose her audience in fact her audience got a lot bigger <laughs> And since then, she's become a billionaire. And her, what was her, Eras tour that just was recently, was the last year or the year before? Anyway, the year it came out, it was like 0.1% of the United States GDP. Her one freaking tour was big enough to be on the board as a big chunk of the GDP. The gross domestic product for the whole country. <laughs> That just amazes me. You gotta remember Disney in this a country. Weird moment. Yeah. In her career, it's a really weird moment. But you notice that happened after she endorsed against Marsha Blackburn. I can't remember who she endorsed. And then she endorsed Biden in 2020. And she's not like her sales are going down. <laughs> so I don't think she's real worried about losing fans. I think you should be worried about how many young Republican women are sitting there going, maybe we're on the wrong side here. I (laughs) honestly think some young Republican women are going to do one of two things, because I am from originally one of those types of states. Yep. And I could see them doing one of two things, saying, oh, I don't care about her politics and just not caring either way, but not stopping being one of her fans no. or she thinks this i wonder why she thinks this and starting to like kind of dig into it yeah i'm not saying whether that will or will not change minds but either they're not going to care or they might start digging into it but i don't know that i see it being something that makes makes any of the young women walk away any honestly i don't think she's losing fans over this if she does, it'll be negligible. Um, right. On top of the I mean, it's just one of those things where, I mean, I can see, I mean, this is going to have a big impact because a lot of, it's not the Republican women so much. It's a lot of women in their 20s who weren't going to vote anyway, but are Taylor Swift fans. And now it's going to, she's going to make it a trend that you need to go out and vote. That's going to make a bigger difference. <laughs> That's what they're worried about here. We'll watch the rest of this. This is just hilarious. It was Megan Kelly. 
this. Add them. Can I tell you something? I criticized her about six months ago when she came out strongly in favor of she went to or she she went to a fundraiser to raise money for Hamas, supposedly Palestinians, <laughs> but the group that was doing the fundraising has was known to funnel the money to Hamas. And I said people should boycott her. It was an offhanded comment. People went nuts. Some lunatic dropped a note in my personal mailbox outside my house begging me not to boycott Taylor Swift as though I have that power. I'm allowed to criticize Taylor Swift and I don't give a shit who gets upset. This is disgusting. She, if she wants to vote Harris Walsh, she can do it all she wants. But to say the reason she's doing it is because of Tim Walls's stance on LGBTQ, F you, Taylor Swift. Her re- <laughs> Whoa. That sounds crazy because so she just criticized Taylor Swift for having a reason. Wait, she just criticized Taylor Swift for the fact that there is a particular issue. Let's even let's even pretend for a second. We don't care what it is that there's an issue she cares about enough for it to sway her vote. Um, Hi, any informed voter? has at least one if not more than one issue they care deeply about that could be one of the key issues that would sway their vote because i can think of a few issues in my world that would sway my vote depending on what somebody said so that's seriously one of the stupidest things i have ever heard to criticize somebody for wait a minute you mean it's because the candidate is going to do this thing that you care about Right. I just it, no. She's just upset, but it's like, so. I don't know if Megan Kelly just doesn't like LGBTQ people or what, but that's the thing that she goes f you about. But she's really upset, and, and you know, and this was sort of my. <laughs> Sorry, Megan. It's just cry all you want. It was inevitable. She was. She voted for Biden. I mean, she was really clear about that. Um, there, I want to just show you the clip here where I got it right here. Rachel Maddow reads this to Tim Walls right after the debate. This is crazy. So Tim Walls was on MSNBC. They were interviewing him after the debate. That's when the Taylor Swift thing dropped. So Tim Walls is finding out about this in real time from Rachel Maddow. <laughs> in 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 its in. Uh, in totality. I'm going to read you the whole thing because this was, I don't think you know about this, uh, but this was just posted online um, by a woman you might have heard of whose name is Taylor Swift. Um, and she has posted this online along with a photo of her cat. And I'm going to read to you what she just posted. Quote, like many of you, I watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now is a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter to you the most. As a voter, I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their proposed policies and plans for this country. Recently, I was made aware that AI of me, quote me, falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run was posted to his site. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. It brought me to the conclusion that I need to be very transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. The simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth. And then she says, quote, I will be casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walz in the 2024 presidential election. <laughs> I'm voting for Kamala Harris because she fights for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. I think she is a steady handed, gifted leader, and I believe we can accomplish so much more in this country if we're led by calm and not chaos. I was so heartened and impressed by her selection of running mate Tim Walls, who has been standing up for LGBTQ plus rights, IVF, and a woman's right to her own body for decades. I've done my research and I've made my choice. Your research is all yours to do and the choice is yours to make. I also want to say, especially to first time voters, remember that in order to vote, you have to be registered. I also find it's much easier to vote early. I will link where to register and find early voting dates and info in my story. With love and hope, Taylor Swift signed Childless Cat Lady. Yeah, that's that's a good day um, for Tim Waltz. That's a good day. I can't hear you at all. Sorry, she, but she was smart enough to say, hey, vote early and register. Right. 
So you got to vote early. You got to register. That she's talking to her audience, especially her younger audience. Right. That's what they're scared of, and they should be. You know, but in there, she's being transparent about what she's going to do. But she even says in there, you do your research. You make your own choice. She's not telling them to vote for anybody. Right. She's telling them to vote. She's telling them to do their homework. She's telling them what issues she cares about. Absolutely. So, I mean, she didn't do anything untoward or interesting there. I mean, but it is devastating for them. Because they're not going to get that young vote as much as they want. They're not going to get the, the celebrity vote or the cool people. It's just not happening. And I'm sorry to say, she kind of nails it down on that. It's like, look, you're against women's rights. You're against gay. You're against gay rights. You're against people having rights. What made you think the cool kids were gonna like you? Uh, that's that's just the opposite of cool, guys. Nope. But here's uh, Donald Trump on Fox and Friends having a little therapy session this morning <laughs> about Taylor. Licking his about Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris. Or Kamala Harris. Harris, what do you think? Well, I actually like uh, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> I actually like Mrs. Mahomes much better. If you want to know the truth, she's a she's a big Trump fan. I was not a Taylor Swift fan. It was just a question of time. She couldn't. Uh, you couldn't possibly endorse Biden. You look at Biden, you couldn't possibly endorse him. But she's a very liberal person. She seems to always endorse a Democrat, uh, and she'll prob probably pay a price for it at the uh, in the marketplace. But no, I, I like... So, again, he's... <laughs> so this is the guy from Pondering Politics who clipped it, but he's just upset. And all they got is, well, my followers aren't going to listen to you anymore. Poo-poo, huh? Deal with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, now it won't stop. There we go. <laughs> they got nothing, man. So, there it was. Taylor's... Oh, there it was again. Jesus. So Taylor Swift finally got him. So, Taylor's... You couldn't get your sound effect to stop, and uh, they couldn't get their big baby to stop either. So, I, know. You know. I know. But he had to call Fox and Friends and do an impromptu therapy session. They should really just, whatever he calls, they should just call it Grandpa's on the phone. <laughs> Racist grandpa's on the phone. I don't like Taylor Swift. Really? Because you were all for her a week or two ago when you thought she endorsed you. <laughs> now you don't like her. <laughs> uh, I, I, I never really liked her. No, no. Screw her. <laughs> Well, newsflash, I don't think he's the audience she's going for anyway. No. Well, he would ideally like to, but yeah, no. Uh <laughs>